All right, today we're going to go over the Power BI is on or after function. And um, in short, what you can do with this function is you can evaluate a table by its column and by the row uh, for a series of true false um, results. You can then take that, uh, that result and then package it into a more complex calculation, like something like a cumulative total, right? So um, that's what you can do with the is on or after function. Of course, there's a lot more other things you can do, but um, those are just two examples of, of highlighting um, its, its capabilities. So before we begin, um, let's kind of go to the official documentation, kind of read up on what Microsoft has to say about the function. So on the documentation page, there's a small little ditty. The first thing just basically talks about how if given a table, um, the function, given a table and given conditions, the, the function will essentially draw a line and based off of those conditions, it'll either evaluate true for one side or, or the other side. Um, whether it's true one side or the other side will depend a little bit on the condition, uh, but more so more on the sort order. So that's kind of what the first one says. The second one talks about this idea of triples. And all that means is if you look at the is on or after function and the syntax of it, it requires at a bare minimum three values, okay? Three values to function. Those three values are a field value, like what column am I looking at? A, a field expression um, that is, or, or rather a field condition rather, that is, okay, now that you've told, told me what column to look at, um, where is my where, where am I drawing the line? So in the case of count, if I were to say 10, that's where it draw its line, okay? And then lastly, the sort order, okay? So you told me a column, how do I want to sort it, and then how do I draw the line? So those are the three things, and that's what I mean by what this this paragraph um, means by triples. That in order to use the is on or after function, you need at least three values in um, you need at least three values to 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 run. Um, outside of that, you can you can add on as many additional triples as you'd like, but just know that those triples are built off of the preceding triple. So if the first triple kind of filters down your your table to two, to two rows, um, this the following uh, triples will only apply to, to those two rows and so on and so forth, okay? <clears throat> and then the last one is sort order, which is um, just it saying, um, you know, depending on how you sort the, the triple conditions, um, it will evaluate true one side or, or the other of the line, okay? So um, <clears throat> for this example, the data set is, is going to be just from the, the documentation page. I literally just copied and pasted this into Excel and loaded it into Power BI. The only difference is I added an additional column called year to uh, later illustrate how uh, total cumulative uh, works. All right. So assuming you copied and pasted that correctly and you load it in, um, as always, first evaluate your data load to make sure everything's correct. In our case, it is correct. Like I was saying before, the only thing different here is um, I added a column for year. This function is also here because I had to illustrate what it does, but <clears throat> the original load only goes from a year to total and it stops there. Okay. So now that you um, now that we've we verified the data is correct, why don't we start from scratch? So let us delete this. All right delete the function. I'm going to just create a new page because it's relevant. Um, yeah, do that. All right, so let's start by loading all the fields in. All right, this will help us understand kind of how the function is working. Do a table. We will blow it up so it's a little bit easier to see. 20, we will get rid of total because it is irrelevant. And then uh, we'll just arrange things so that it's a little easier to digest. So country, state, year, count total. All right. So first off, let us begin by creating a new column. We'll call this function and we will call the is on after function out. So um, as you see here, we need three values for it to work. Like I was saying before, the first one is going to be, you have to tell Power BI which column are we, we conditioning on. In this case, let's just use um, total, um, but it doesn't have to be a numerical one. You can actually use um, text uh, string columns as well. But in this case, we'll start with count. Um, coincidentally, our, our field has the same name as a very common uh, other common functions. So just make sure you pull the right one. So we do count. What is the condition? The condition is going to be, let's just say, anything on 10 or after. So we'll do 10. And then what's the order? We'll just do ascending. Okay. And that should be done. So the function is done calculating. Um, so even before we bring in the column to kind of see what our result will be, let us think about what we what we have just done here. All right. Um, first, let's look at the first condition. We are we are um, 
We are sorting this table by count. Okay, good. How are we sorting it? We are sending it. So right now, as the table is, um, this is not what the function sees because right now the table is sorted by count descending, as as implied by this, as um, as expressed by this this triangle. So let's click it, click on it the other way. So now that it is ascending, this is what we're seeing. Okay, and then what we told it after this is draw the line at 10. That's by nature, by definition, what it means on or after. So anything on 10 or after. I want you to return true. Okay, so that's what I expect. With a table that's been sorted by count ascending, I want you to give me everything 10 and after. And in this case, because it's ascending, what that means is anything from 10 and below going downwards. It's not going to be 10 and after going up. Um, it's going to be 10 going down. That would flip if this was this table was, was sorted by descending. It would be highlighting everything above. But um, as long as you 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 know, if you're going to do, if you're doing some quality checking, as long as you arrange your table to mimic exactly your conditions of your is on or after, it should the trues should populate where you expect. So in this case, this is exactly one to one to how we do it here. So I should expect uh, trues to be from these four, uh, from this row and below, right? And so I'm going to bring in the function, and I'll see that that is the case. Okay. Now. Like I was mentioning before, you don't need, uh, you're not limited to only one set, of, uh, one triple. You can actually add more. Just know that every additional triple builds on the previous triple. So right now, even though we have five rows, um, the 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 second triple that we build will only count towards these four rows. Okay. So if I were to do something like, um, let's do it on state. So we do a comma, and, it's, and Power BI automatically recognizes three inputs as one triple. So I do a comma. This will now be my new triple. I put in the column. I'll do state. All right. And what is the condition for state? All right. State is, as you can see, a string value. This condition, all it's saying is, where do I draw the line to evaluate? In this case, I want you to draw a line at, um, let's just say, let's see, these four W. Uh, we'll do WA at WA. So because WA is a text, I have to put in these quotation marks. And then next is I need to tell it um, what order. So I'm going to do descending. Okay. <clears throat> and let's see our results. So now you see here, it used to be four trues, but now it is one false. So um, how do we better understand this? Well, let's just change our uh, our table to, to meet what our conditions are. So count is already um, sorted correctly. Now we need to sort by state also in addition to count. Okay. So to do that in Power BI, you just hold down shift and click on the column. So I click on state. And I see that now both are sorted by um, ascending, but we did descending. So we want to actually shift this back down. So I'll click this again. Now it's by descending. And if you see here, you know, if you think about the logic, all right, so first is everything from 10. 10 and below, or 10 and above, so first the line was drawn right here, if you will, okay? But then the second condition was, okay, within the four that we've highlighted, you know, with, with state being descending, I want you now to highlight anything that is uh, from WA and above. So as you see here, WA starts here, so the line used to be here for the first condition, but for the second condition, the line drops down to here because it has to first start from WA and then after, so going down, okay? And so that is why WB is not true anymore and it's false because of these conditions and this is how the function sees the table now, okay? And so that's all I'll say about the is on or after function. Um, in short, you can give it some column values and it'll evaluate on a row basis and just give you a bunch of true and falses. And um, by itself, it might not be super useful per se. Um, there are other functions you can call to do the same things. Um, but um, it really gives value when you kind of wrap it into other more complex uh, calculations like, say, a uh, total cumulative um, chart, if you will. So let us uh, let us build that out as an example as well. So let's build a line chart, and let's just arbitrarily put uh, totals in years. Okay. So if you see here, uh, we have now a line chart by total by year. Um, as you can see, it is taking in the row context. So 2010, uh, here, let me add some data labels. Let me make that a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. 12, x-axis. <clears throat> okay, let's do y-axis. All right, there. That should be easier to see. Okay, so as you see here, 
Um, we've made a line chart, very basic one. We haven't done anything special. It's just by year by total. And as by design, you know, the totals, all it's doing is evaluating by row. So for 2010, um, let's clear this out. So for 2010, if we're looking at totals, it's just 800. For 2011, it's 1,000. If we want to do something like total cumulative uh, by year, total cumulative by year, we can use something like uh, is on or after to, to help get us to that point, OK? And to do so, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use the calculate function. So let's create a measure. We'll call this total cum and calculate. So to use a calculate function, first we have to give it an expression. And by nature of what we want, total cumulative, we're obviously going to sum. We're going to sum the total. All right. So that's the expression. Next, we need to tell it what to do um, within the context of each row, in this case the year. Otherwise, it's going to just return to us the same thing. So we want to tell it to look at the year and then take every value below that year and sum it up. And so to do that, we're going to have to first filter. We're going to filter, and the table is going to be all selected year. All right. So um, first it's saying, hey, for each row, build a table first. And that table will be based off the year, OK? Um, or it's, it's going to be based off the year column. Now we got to filter and tell it, well, which years? Um, if we just leave this as is, it's just going to give us the same thing again, row by row, 2010, just 2010, 2011, okay? Actually, I'll even do that. Uh, no, it's going to break out. It it wants a filter if I'm going to use the filter condition. Um, actually, I'll remove this and see. There we go. Okay, so let's put this in here just to illustrate a point. If you total, total cumulative, um, it's going to do nothing, all right? Because it's just taking the total of everything, 4.1K, all right? Um, that's why you have to first give it a filter condition. So do that. And I want you to do it by year. Uh, oh, duh. Um, so the filter condition is going to be uh, is on or after, obviously. The value is look at the year. Be sure to select the field value, not the function. By chance, um, our, 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 our column header is the same as the function. Uh, we need to do an aggregate, so we have to do max. OK. And then the order is going to be descending because cumulative is we want it to look at all the years preceding and sum it up, okay? So we do this, close it up, and you should see it now behave correctly, all right? Because what we did was for every single row, I want you to build a table, and I want you to build a table using not only your year, but the year preceding, um, preceding and then give me the total, okay? And this is how you would use um, something like uh, this is how you'd use a function like is on or after, a little bit more advanced beyond just the table. You could use it in a very practical way, like calculating total cumulative per year. Okay.